wanted to show how I prep my beans. I've shown this before, how I did it with chickpeas. And this is black beans. I soaked these overnight, boiled them for a couple hours. So now they're kind of the consistency they would be if you got them like canned. This is what I'm gonna use this week. And then these two bags I am going to freeze. So this is some stuff I pulled out of the freezer. I have some chopped up potatoes, onion, bell pepper, and kale. I'm gonna do like a kale and potato stew to go with some rice that we made. breaking out here. We had way too many sweets last week celebrating Gia's birthday. So my skin is like, what sis, what was you doing? Like, you're not the four year old. You can't go in like that. So we're gonna clear this up this week, reset. Um, but I wanna show you guys a couple things. So don't mind that, don't mind that. <laughs> so if you follow my videos, you're gonna find that I really like decanting. That is something that I do often and it is basically just taking something that's in packaged, you know, form and putting it into something that is clear. So why I really love decanting is just you're not wasting, you're not over buying, and you're just really able to have better stock and inventory, able to really assess what you have and what you need. I wanted to show you another kind of simple way of decanting. This is a basic egg carton container, but what I do is I cut off the the top and the side of the packaging so that it just stays like open and because it's in this drawer there's no risk that it'll like slide around or anything like that and here I'm really just able to see how many eggs I have left very clearly whereas before when the packaging is on top you have to pull it out eyeball it try to look at it figure it out this way it's super simple and easy to just boom and then there you have it I don't have decanting containers for like every single thing but something that I do that is also helpful is like with with our bread I'll just take them out and put them in this Tupperware dish and that's another way that you can decant just using what you already have to be able to see what you're working with and that's sexy so it's not great it's just such a clean look and we don't even realize how these labels like looking at all this packaging and labels all the time how it just bombards our brain and adds noise that is not necessary so decanting is the way to go So I just wanna show y'all how I make my tuna. I add mustard, mayo, some pickles, salt, pepper, garlic powder. I also put in hard boiled eggs. And then I will usually cut up some grapes. Here I have dried cranberries, raisins. Since I'm using cinnamon raisin bread, I just used the fresh grapes. I'm gonna add some salad to it. I usually don't show things like this on these videos because this is just something that can be done kind of anytime, but it always amuses me when people assume that what I feature in the videos is all that we eat for the week. But I just wanted to take a minute to show it to anyone who would care to see that. So yeah. This is another example of a no prep meal for those that are interested. Just some salads, lasagna, and garlic bread. Mm -hmm. 